a lot of people get their fashion in a sheep-like manner. Most people are kind of afraid to cause any sort of waves with the way they appear. Most people are just trying to go for this, oh, this is the standard right now for what looks good. And they'll just kind of go with that. They'll go with the trends. Very few people seem to just be like, you know, fuck all that. I'm going to be myself. There's things I like, and I'm going to wear them. And I wish more people did that. A place I think would be really cool to visit, as far as fashion, would be Japan. Over there, they're, they're, they're going to the extreme. They're dressing like some of the anime characters. You know? They're like, fuck, fuck all these, these runway models. Fuck all this, these, uh, the, the, the people you see on the catwalk on these fashion shows. Oh, these high broke fashion shows, you know? They're like, fuck all that. <laughs> and in actually, in cartoons and in anime, there is like so many different styles that, I mean, like here in the States, I mean, we just wouldn't touch. We'd just be like, oh, <laughs> or whatever, you know? And it's just like, why? I mean, just think about some of the fashions that have come that have come down the line over the years. Look at what was popular in the 80s. I like some 80s fashion, honestly. Probably the one I like the most are some of the belly shirts that guys would be wearing belly shirts and stuff, but that's just like my thing, you know? Um, but there's a whole shitload of fashions from that period that people are like, oh God, people wore that? Well, guess what? A lot of the stuff you're wearing now you're going to look look back in 20 years and go, oh God, we used to wear that? You know? But if you're going with your own sense of fashion instead of just kind of going with what's trendy, I don't think you'll look back and say those same things. You can look back and go, yeah, I, I dressed like how I wanted. Now, this may, you may consider this a superficial rant, and yes, it is. It's talking about fashion. But why not just go with what you like? And if you haven't gotten a sense of what you like, you know, start looking into it. Look at all these trends, look at all the trends that have happened over the past, like, hundred years. And look, and, and look at some, you know, look at these old pictures and go, now that's kind of cool. What if I added this with, with, th with something from this period? And you mix those two things together. Or heck, what if you just really like these older periods? What would be wrong with, with someone dressing like, a, a, like a, a, a typical uh, trend that was in the 50s or the 30s? Heck, if you want to dress like it's the 1800s, who's stopping you? Why not go for it? I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? Oh, people will make fun of you for it. Well, guess what? People are going to make fun of you if you try to go with the current trends. People are just going to make fun of you just for your appearance no matter what you do. You can't, you can't get away from that. And also, you know, even if you, if you do go for your own styles like that, you know what? You still have the right to criticize any fashion you want. You have the right to like what you want. You have the right to dislike what you don't like. You know, I I just wear what I want. I wear what I like. And it, you know, it makes me a freak. And I'm fine with that. And I guess that's what you have to get used to. Is the idea, well, people are going to think I'm a freak. Cool. You know? What's wrong with being a freak? What's wrong with standing out? <laughs> I keep thinking of that that place, Wet Seal, at, at South Center Mall that says, uh, fit in, stand out. And I'm like, that's so, oh God, that's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. You know, either you're trying to fit in or you're trying to stand out. Or you're just trying to do your thing and you happen to stand out. But <laughs> fit in and stand out? Uh, no. No, sorry, that's, that's a bullshit concept. 
if you're fitting in, then you're trying not to stand out. So, um, so you just go for the things you like. Fuck everyone else on that. If they don't like it, that's their problem. And they can make fun of you all they want. You're doing your thing. It's it's kind of the same as music. There's a lot of people that will, oh, I listen to you know they they don't they never say it outright, but they'll they'll listen to stuff because their friends are listening to it. People that don't get their own sense of what they like musically. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that are this way. Don't be afraid of being yourself. Another one too is, you know, if you have features that are considered, you know, that most people don't look up to, you know, screw it. If you've got a big nose, flaunt it. If you've got a unibrow, flaunt it. Whatever it is that you have, whatever features you have, if they're not the standard, flaunt it. Just flaunt it. Enjoy it. You know, this is how you can get out of this mindset where people think they have to get plastic surgery to change the beauty they already have. Now, before someone gets on my case for, well, there's people that have been disfigured, and it's like, okay, fine. You know, that's, that's different. That's different than, than taking something that you, you, you already have this beauty to you. Sometimes it's a unique beauty, and you just kind of toss it away so you can, you can, you know, replace it with something false. I've, I've never really understood that mindset. Um, I do understand the thing of people wanting to fit in. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling now, but uh, do your thing. Let's, let's quote RuPaul, do your thing. You better work. <laughs> you know, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy your appearance. Enjoy your sense of fashion. Enjoy it. Have a good time. And if people stare, guess what? You're doing your job. <laughs> Work it. Work it. 